Good evening. I'm Melissa DeRosa. And I'm Kayla McDermott. Welcome back to Ank News, the news show that goes above and beyond to bring you the most crucial information on what's going on in the world and around Manhattan College's campus. Our first story, the Manhattan College Communications Department is looking for four new student workers for the 2019 to 2020 school year. Being a student worker in the Communication Department involves being organized and showing a high level of initiative in a cooperative and collegial fashion. Interested parties should be able to do basic office work, check out specialized equipment for production classes, and keep a neat and orderly workspace. Serious inquiries should email Caitlin Che, the department's secretary. Our next story is on the new Higgins Engineering and Science Center. Construction has been going on for about one year, and it is set to be completed in the fall of 2020. While this building will bring about a new and improved learning environment for STEM students, it has caused issues for faculty members and Riverdale residents. The construction has done away with 71 faculty parking spots and has closed several sidewalks. In more exciting news, Manhattan College has added a new minor program on the Digital Arts and Humanities, or more commonly referred to as DASH. Here's Alyssa DeRosa with coverage of the program's release party. <laughs> on Wednesday, March 27th, Manhattan College's new DASH program celebrated its official release with the pizza party. Students were invited to come and learn more about the program. The Digital Arts and Humanities program is a new interdisciplinary program at Manhattan College that attempts to bring together um, more traditional humanities and social science subjects and studies um, with new digital tools and data analytic methods. The program offers classes in television production, English, history, business, and sociology, among many others. I think actually that something like digital arts and humanities is important in part for the reason that it allows people to engage more traditional subjects in new kinds of ways. The release party allowed for three students to sign up to minor in digital arts and humanities. As the Manhattan College softball team enters their MAC conference season, Kayla McDermott was there to catch up with the team during a practice and give some insight on how the team is looking. I'm here at Gaelic Park where the Manhattan College softball team is practicing for their upcoming league games this weekend. I'm a returning sophomore and coming off of last year, just like getting the feel of things, being a freshman, coming in sophomore year and I'm really excited to get into Mac play. I think that out of all the four years I've been here, I think that this year is going to be the best. Our team chemistry is is the greatest it's been um, in all my years here. Even in inclement weather, the team has been practicing very hard to better their season. I'm a freshman, so it's my first year of college, so I'm just excited and I'm learning a lot. I'm looking forward to a great season with the girls. We've been working well, practicing hard together, so I think it's going to be a, a great season going into Max. The team appears to be confident as they go into this weekend against Fairfield and Mares to try and combat their losses that they faced against Quinnipiac last Saturday. Well, we are definitely wishing them luck as they continue their season. However, it is a shame for them and other sports teams that compete on Gaelic that the locker room that they were promised has still not opened. The athletic teams, as well as their coaches, were told that the locker room would be ready for operation August of 2018, so the soccer teams would be able to use it during their season. It has been nearly nine months since then, and the building is still not open. Coaches are without offices, student athletes still have nowhere to keep their belongings, trainers are edging to move in rather than work in the Dratty Gymnasium, and seniors who are still playing are accepting the fact that they most likely won't get to use the building in their final season. Hopefully the locker room will open soon and be a fantastic addition to current student athletes and those that will come in the future. Aside from complaints down at Gaelic, upperclassmen who live at Overlook Manor have been dealing with numerous issues throughout the year, from consistent construction to no heat. Now Nick Priest is here for the latest problems students are facing. Down here at Overlook Manor, things seem to be a mess. Students living in this building expect to have decent living conditions. However, this is not the case. Katie McAderm has been living with no gas in her kitchen for over two weeks. The gas has been out in all of, like certain apartments here, and we live in 2D, so all the Ds are out with gas. So we haven't been able to cook or bake or do anything with our stove. We've emailed people um, that we should be compensated and no one's answering us. They're just ignoring the issue. And it's honestly ridiculous because all of our ingredients are going bad. We're spending way more, way more money than we normally would, and no one seems to care. And only two floors above, an even furrier problem is making itself known during these unsanitary times of crisis. The issue? Rats. Crawling around the room of Overlook's very own Caprivo. I finally got up off the couch after hearing multiple squeaks, only to notice a rat or mouse had scurried along our kitchen, 
down the wall, and into this radiator right here. After putting in countless work orders, people finally came, gave us three faulty rat traps, and taped up the radiator. As these residents' emails of complaint are placed in the spam folder of our administration, we will continue to update you on their hard living conditions. Thank you so much for tuning into Inc. News. Tune in tomorrow to find out more about Manhattan College's Spring Fest and what exactly is in the food at Locke's Loft. I'm Kayla McDermott. And I'm Melissa DeRosa. Have a great night.